Okay, hi. Um, today I'm gonna do my RM makeup. I did my RM makeup myself, and um, I'm just gonna be recreating that look. Uh, I just washed my face, and I'm still in my pajamas, so I'm sorry. Okay, let's just get right into it. Okay, first up, sunblock. I love this sunblock, but my skin's kind of dry now. So, I'm sitting right by the window, literally, the back of you guys, if I were to flip the camera, is the window. So, if the lighting change, I'm sorry, primer. Uh, on the day itself, I applied my makeup at like, I wanna say 10? No, wait, that's a bit too early. 11? I wanna say 11. And um, the actual thing was 4 So we kinda had to have the makeup last for like a while Okay, onto eyes So I gotta fix those brows Um, this is a uh, eyebrow pencil I got from Daiso in the color black It looks like this It has a retractable end and um, a spoolie on the other side pretty light I'm darkening them up with Anastasia Beverly Hills perfect brow pencil in I have no idea where it is granite I think and then I'm gonna just make sure they all stay in place and hold throughout the day so I'm just setting them with a bit of um what is this this is the Laurel Brow Stylist Plumper If I'm right And I should be Yep The Brow Stylist Plumper is Medium to dark So I'm moving on Um, I am Priming My under eye With Urban Decay Eye Potion Primer well, I have Really oily lids So I do need these for the eyeshadow to stay on and not smudge throughout the day. I'm using um the color tattoo metal by Maybelline. I wanna see Maybelline. Yep. And it's number 70 belly branded. It actually just looks something like this. I like that it cancels out the darkness of my eye on my eyelid itself, so that's a good thing. So this was the shadow that I used. And it's by Essence. I'm just gonna use a flat, sorry, brush. I hope you guys can see. This will be going uh, on the lower part of my lids, so closest to my lash line. I'm going in with um, the Too Faced Matte Eye Collection, and I'm picking up this shade right here in Tufted Sweet, and then I'll be going in. In the crease with it. And then I'll be going back in with the same shadow, the pink one, uh, and just intensifying the colors that I put on earlier. Then I'll be going in with the angled brush. Picking up just the tiny bit of the brown and then just darkening the corners on the outside. Moving in closer and I hope that you guys can see. Okay, next I'm gonna be Curling my lashes. I have long lashes, but they are very straight. So. And I'll be using um, the Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in intense black. And lining the outside of my eyelid. I have really hooded eyes, so I don't line all the way inside. So I just do it on the outside, so it doesn't close up my eyes. And 
and then I'm going in with my favorite telescopic shocking extension in black is black and this is the waterproof one I like the waterproof one because um it holds my curls up I have really stubborn lashes so um the waterproof one the waterproof ones are always good and I'm gonna line my lower lash with the Maybelline Great Lash and I'm gonna tight line with the NYX Press Jolie there I hope I didn't screw that name up but anyway this is one of the best tight line pencils in the world My eyes are almost done. Um, I still have lashes, but I'm just gonna move on to the face first. I'm gonna do lashes the last. So I actually use this too. Um, they are the Curel BB Cream, and one is in the shade Brightening, and one is in the shade Natural. So the both of them are pretty similar, but um, as you can tell, this is Natural and slightly darker, and this is um, Brightening. So, um, what I do is I apply brightening the shade brightening in um a the areas where i normally highlight and then um the other shade natural for every part of my face so let's do this i really really love this vv cream i've never ever loved a foundation so much in my life it's extremely light um it is it has good coverage um it controls my oil i have oily combination skin so it controls that Let's see so this is what i do i put it right smack down The places that um, the light will heat, I look ridiculous. And then I'm going into the shade Natural, which is the slightly darker, slightly yellower shade. It matches my neck. And I'm just going to be putting this all on the outside of um, the places where I didn't put the other shade down. So, um, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but I am very, very red. I have very, very red um, undertones. So this uh, BB cream really, really does a good job in taking that away. And I'll be using a dampen Real Technique sponge and then just blending everything out. I'm going to go on to um, concealers. I didn't use this two on that day, but um, they are what I have on hand. So I'm just going to be using this too. The Urban Naked Skin and the Nars Creamy Concealer. Um, the Nars one is bright. The Nars one is um, in the shade Vanilla. So it's slightly brighter. So that's just why I like to. And then I'll just be going in with um, the sponge again. Before we move on to highlighting, so I'm just gonna be using um, El Mascus Cream Pigment in Hollow, and that's just how it looks like. So I'm just picking up a bit of products with my hands, and I'm gonna put them where I want my cheekbones to be. Down the side of my face. Before 
or hit. I'm just gonna blend everything out with my fingers. I used the cream contour first before I used uh, before I use a powder one and this is the powder one that I use. It's by NYX. It's the NYX blush and taupe. It's the perfect contour shade. highlighting with um, the Gojoa 1, 2, 3 Perfect CC Eye Cream. I know it's meant for the eyes but I really liked it. Um, it's a twist concept so I just put a little on my hand and I'll be dabbing them on places where I want extra brightening. So um, in a corner of eyes, right above my forehead. I mean, in between my eyebrows, nose, and a little of lips. I like to take this on the cheekbones as well. Oh, before I go in with the blush, I'll be going in with my highlight. I'll be, I use the Mary Luminizer, so that's what I'll be using. I'm also taking this under my brow bones. I didn't highlight there just now. So. In the inner corner of my eyes. I'll be going in with my blush. I, I used the Milani Big Blush in Bella Rosa. This is beautiful. Reddish pink and then I'll be going in with my blush I I used the Milani big blush in Bella Rosa I'll be going in with my blush I I used the Milani big blush in Bella Rosa and just blend blend And then because my under eye creases, I'm going to set it with um, the Tarte Smooth Operator um, Loose Setting Powder. I'm just going to bake a little bit. To prevent my under eye from creasing. Okay, so while that seats, um, I'll be going in with my I'll finish up my eye. And now, I'm gonna dust away all the baking that I've done. To finish up, I'll be f putting on my lipstick. I used the uh, Rouge Edition Velvet by Bourjois in the shade Nudist, and this is like the perfect pink. And I'm done. So, this is the final look. And I hope you guys liked it.